The Flash Professional interface contains a variety of useful panels and other structures, which allow us to work effectively within the program. This lesson provides an overview of the most important and useful elements of the application interface. So here we have a document open. And because we have the document open, we have a stage that's front and center. The stage is this white area we see. And this area itself is where all of the visual action takes place, where all the drawing takes place, and all the animation. So it's a central component of the application interface. Around the stage, you can see this gray area, which is called the pasteboard or the work area. And in this area, we can do things like have elements off screen, and they won't necessarily show up within the visual area of the stage, until we animate them onto the stage. So it's almost like a scratch board. In the case that we have more than one scene, directly above the stage, we have an indicator that shows exactly what scene we're on. Over on this side, we can switch between scenes, and we also have quick access to any symbols we have. Right aside of this, we have a little dropdown that allows us to scale our stage in or out we have a series of panels over to the side. So we have the Properties Inspector, the Properties panel, which in this case is focused on our document right now. So we have our stage properties exposed right here. But this Properties panel will actually adjust and change depending on what type of object is selected on the stage at any given time, exposing those properties for our adjustment. We also have panels such as the Library, which is quite important to Flash. This is where all our symbols and assets live that can be used within the application. Here we see a number of different panels, which by default in the Essentials workspace are collapsed. We can open these up a bit and expand them using this little arrow right here. But we can also open them up individually simply by clicking on them. So here we can see our different color picker choices. We can change the color in here or choose from different swatches. And you can see that both of these sort of switch back and forth between color and swatches. They're both exposed in this collapse view. The same thing goes for this second grouping. If we go to Align, we can see here are all our alignment tools. And we also have access to Info and Transform tools. So Info is going to give us information about the specific object. And transform is going to allow us to transform the object through skew, rotation, and things of that nature. This next group we have involves code snippets. So here we have a number of different quick snippets of code we can apply to objects. We have our components, which are broken into flex components, user interface components like buttons, lists, and so forth, and also some basic video playback components. The third thing we have in this group are motion presets. Motion presets allow us to add motion and preview it to see exactly what's going on. And we can add these to our objects simply by applying them to the objects that we want to use that sort of motion preset. The last thing we have here is the project panel. Using the project panel, we can define a project which has an assortment of files in it. Perhaps it contains one FLA and a whole bunch of ActionScript files. And this can all be used as a single project 